The Galaxy S24 Ultra has received its first look at One UI 8.5, and this early build shows a software update that feels bigger than originally expected. Even though it still runs on the same version of Android as One UI 8.0, Samsung has made major visual changes, improved system apps, and introduced new features designed to make everyday use easier, cleaner, and more personalized. The official beta could open soon, but this early preview already reveals a lot about the direction Samsung is taking. One of the most noticeable upgrades in One UI 8.5 is the completely customizable Quick Panel. In previous versions, the Quick Panel allowed quick access to essential controls, but customization was limited. This time, users get far more control over how everything looks and works. Toggles can be added, removed, or rearranged in any order, making it possible to build a layout that fits personal habits instead of relying on a fixed design. The size of controls can be changed, layouts can be adjusted, and certain elements can be rotated vertically. This transforms the quick panel from a standard control hub into a fully personalized dashboard that adapts to individual needs. It also reflects Samsung's focus on letting users shape their device UI rather than forcing a specific structure. Another important feature comes to the camera app. One UI 8.5 lets users save photos and videos directly to external storage. This is a huge upgrade for anyone who frequently shoots high-quality content. Large 4K videos or high-resolution images often take up a lot of internal storage, and transferring files manually can be slow or frustrating. Being able to save directly to fast external storage solves this problem and gives creators more freedom without worrying about running out of space. This could also help professionals or vloggers who rely on external drives for quick file transfers and editing workflows. The Settings app receives a cleaner and more accessible redesign. Samsung has removed many sub-section labels to create a less cluttered layout. The search bar now has a pill-shaped look and is positioned lower on the screen. This placement makes it easier to reach, especially on large phones like the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Navigation becomes faster and more intuitive because users are not stretching repeatedly to reach the top of the display. The battery and device care sections also receive visual tweaks that make information easier to read without hiding key data. Overall, the settings app feels lighter, more balanced, and more modern. Several stock apps also shift to a new pill, shaped tab bar design. Earlier versions used an end-to-end -end width bar, which sometimes felt heavy and outdated. The new style looks cleaner and helps modernize the interface without creating confusion. The search button has also moved to an overlay in the top right corner. As users scroll, the back and search buttons remain visible in an overlay format. This simple change prevents the annoyance of scrolling all the way to the top just to navigate or search again. Small design decisions like this show how Samsung is targeting day-to-day -day usability instead of flashy features. However, not all apps are updated yet. Samsung Health still uses the older tab bar design, showing that the redesign is not complete. Early firmware often contains unfinished elements, so visual inconsistencies are normal at this stage. The camera app also appears to be missing some capture modes. This supports the idea that One UI 8.5 is still in development and new features could arrive as work progresses. Missing elements do not indicate removal, they usually reflect incomplete builds. Other apps receive improvements as well, focusing on cleaner icons, smoother transitions, and better spacing. The visual style is modern, but it avoids drastic or confusing changes. This approach keeps One UI familiar to long-time Galaxy users while still feeling refreshed. Even though One UI 8.5 does not introduce a full Android version upgrade, its goal seems to be refinement rather than massive transformation. Instead of redesigning everything at once, Samsung is polishing the experience, fixing weak areas, and improving usability. This strategy could lead to a more stable, consistent, and user-friendly environment, especially compared to older updates that changed a lot of elements at the same time. The update also hints at Samsung's plans for the future. Many design choices seem optimized for larger screens, foldables, and tablet-style layouts. Samsung continues to invest in big screen devices, so this shift makes sense. The current Galaxy S24 Ultra benefits immediately, but future models could take even more advantage of the new design language. Overall, this first look at One UI 8.5 on the Galaxy S24 Ultra shows a strong focus on customization, visual updates, and improved usability. The customizable quick panel, redesigned stock apps, new settings layout, and external storage support for the camera stand out as meaningful improvements. Some areas are still unfinished, but that is expected before a public beta release. As development continues, more features, visual changes, and optimizations are likely to appear. One UI 8.5 may not sound like a big upgrade on paper, but the experience feels fresh, modern, and easier to use, giving Galaxy users more control over how their device looks and works. 